I love stories and I always find myself intrigued by people. And so with Vicky and Rob, the intrigue was learning about why they decided to start Rave and how they started, but more so why they came all the way from Australia to a small town in, in England. I mean, it's evident that they're so passionate about coffee, but I wanted to know where that passion came from and why they chose coffee over any other industry, really. And so that's what the film's about, as well as the entire process about coffee. So I wanted to shoot a short narrative and the idea behind it was trying to find people who had a passion for something. And the goal of the video was not only to find out about their journey from Australia to Sirencester, but also to learn about their craft because they have such a skill and understanding behind it. For them, it's not just about brewing a cup of coffee or roasting some beans, it's the flavours and the taste. So with the video, I wanted that to come across from sourcing the beans to brewing the perfect cup. And so the video really goes into their entire process, which starts with the beans. I used the Sony a7S II because it's basically the only camera that I have apart from the Canon 7D Mark II. But every time I use it, I'm completely blown away by it because it produces such good results. You know, the quality of the footage, the colors, especially when shooting with the Atomos Ninja Assassin, it's a camera that continues to blow me away every time I use it. I wanted to have as much flexibility in post for coloring. And so having, being able to use S-Log2 and have that flexibility later on to play around with the colors is amazing. One of the reasons for using a monopod, because I use a monopod a lot, apart from when I'm using the slider on the tripod, I needed to be quite mobile and move to get different shots. Um, and so using the monopod to get around and you know extend it up to quite a height to, to get different angles was, was really useful. Audio was very important to me because I wanted to be able to have all the intricate sounds recorded so that I could create this atmosphere in the film. And for that we used the Rode NTG4 Plus with the Zoom H4n. The, the Rode NTG4 is such an amazing mic and again it's the only one that I own. It was such a great experience working with Patrick, who shot the audio, and Alex, who shot behind the scenes. And working with people who have such a passion for something, you know, it just makes the entire process so smooth and really enjoyable. Having the support from Rave was brilliant for the film as well. I couldn't have asked for, uh, for a better production, really. <laughs> <laughs>